we're proceeding quite well with our website now it's all uploaded onto our web server and we've got several pages now those pages all have this navigation uh, drop down menu so if we go to the generic page it's got the same menu if I go to the contact page it's got the same menu so the code for these menus on every page is duplicated because they're using each page is using a different template so that's a bit efficient if we want to change that menu we've got to change it in three different places so the way to overcome that is by using a modex chunk so with a modex chunk we can create that chunk here write the code in it and then use that chunk in as many other places as we want and then when we want to change it we just change it in one place so let's have a look at our templates first let's get rid of these all these other tabs and let's have a look at the index template So I've opened up all the templates in a different tab so that we can pair the code in each one. So if we click between the tabs we can see that the code doesn't vary much so there's lots of duplicate code in there. So these templates are prime places for the use of modex chunks. And the first thing we're going to deal with is the navigation. so that's here so we're going to make this into a chunk and then put that chunk back into these templates so first of all let's open another tab where we can create our chunk let's create the chunk here let's call it navigation Now the code is here, so let's cut that code. Cut. And paste it into the chunk code here. Our navigation chunk. Save. Now let's go back to the template. And we simply replace it with the tag representing that chunk navigation so that's saved so for each template I've replaced the navigation code with the navigation chunk so that's in the this is in the generic that's in the generic page this is in the elements page and this is in the contact page so they've all got the navigation chunk now so if we just uh, if we have a look preview if we preview the site if we go from page to page we can see that that navigation is still working and that chunk is in one place so just to demonstrate that if we have a look at the chunk code um, now if we just type xxx there just for demonstration purposes go and reload oops I clicked home instead of reloading so there we can see the xxxxx we just added if we go to the generic page it's there as well the elements page the contact page so when you change anything in the menu chunk it gets changed in every template that that chunk is included so let's close those templates down now we don't need them so what we'd like to do now is rather than having these links to the pages hard-coded in the chunk is to have a bit of code here 
that will automatically pick up any new pages that are created in the resource tree. So we can do that with um, an extra called Wayfinder. So we'll download that now. So you go to Extras, Installer, Download Extras, and Wayfinder, that's one of the most, most popular plugins. Click that. Download. Back to the package manager. Install Wayfinder. So that's installed properly. OK. If we go back and find our chunk navigation. Let's edit that. Go to the X. So what Wayfinder does is it finds the resources in the resource tree and it creates an unordered list of those of links to those resources. To call Wayfinder, we use a tag that we were like the tags we were introduced to in earlier lessons. So it's two square brackets followed by the name of the extra or the snippet we want to use. Now extras and snippets can take arguments and Wayfinder needs at least two arguments to work. To tell Wayfinder that it's receiving some arguments you type a question mark after the name of the snippet or the extra. Then you proceed the variable that you're passing to the extra with an ampersand then you type the name of the variable and then you give it a value that's enclosed with backticks. That's important, they're not quotation marks but they are backticks. So the first argument Wayfinder wants, it wants to know the start ID, so which resource to start at. And if that value is zero then it starts at the, the root of your resource list. And the second argument Wayfinder needs is the level which is telling Wayfinder how deep it needs to nest the menu. Um, so if you've got nested pages in your resource tree then how deep should you go? Uh, we've got no nested resources so but we're just saying go to the first level. So Wayfinder should produce uh, an unordered list of our web pages. So we don't need this these hard-coded links anymore because Wayfinder is in there to replace those. So if we delete those then we should be left with um, an automatically generated um, menu. So let's have a look. Let's reload that page. And so we can see that the links are there and we can tell this has been generated by Wayfinder because it's including the home, a link to the home page which wasn't in there before because there's already a link to it in the menu bar. So we need to tell Wayfinder to exclude the home page from its automatically generated list of links. So we can do that in a couple of ways. We could go to that web page, the home, home page resource, and we could click this checkbox, hide from menus, and then the home page, there wouldn't be a link to the home page in any automatically generated menus. But we might want to include it in a, a menu generated somewhere else, so we're not going to do it that way. The way we'll do it is by passing Wayfinder another value, and that value is exclude docs, which takes a comma delimited list of resource IDs. In this case 
it's just one ID because it's just the home page which is ID 2 so we're telling Wayfinder to ignore that so let's see if that works reload the page oh no it's not it's excluded something else so it has excluded something but not the home page because I made a mistake it's not resource 2 it's resource 1 let's try that again reload layouts right so the home page is miss now gone from that list so let's see what happens now if I add another page in the resource tree call it another page I'll make it published I use the generic template okay that's saved let's reload so you can see that it's been added on to the menus and there we have the generic page and it's in on all all the menus even on the home page because it's in the shared chunk that's shared between all between the different templates so we've covered quite a lot in this lesson we've looked at how to stop duplicating code by using chunks and we've learned how to use Wayfinder to automatically generate a menu and in the next lesson we'll be tidying the templates up some more